hello and very warm welcome to our youtube channel and you are watching swift tutorials hope you are doing great in today's video we are going to learn how to add shadow to ui view in swift 4 so let's start create a new xcode project we will choose single view application and we will name it a shadow ui view tutorial language will be swift and we will save it to our hard drive And here it goes, create a new folder, name it same and then create the project. So here we created the project and single view application template. So open up your UI view controller. We will create an IV outlet for our view to which we want to give shadow. We where VW container is of type UI view and here we will change the background color to little one this yellow and we will use ui view object and drag it to our view and here we will give it constants the top from 70 and 24 from right 24 from left and height will be 300 and here you can see now let's connect our IV outlet here we connected it now this time you will only see this a rectangular or a square UI view when you run your app suppose if we run our app at this moment Our app is running on iPhone 10 simulator and here you can see so it's not looking very cool so if you want to give a 3d effect like it's embossed up from a view or it's, it's hovering over the view then we what we can do we can give it a shadow then for that just do with double container dot layer dot first we have to give shadow color that what color of our shadow is UI color dot blue dot cg color because shadow color is a cg color object the vw container dot layer dot shadow offset the offset of the shadow and by default if you see it here I'll give it a zero because we want it on all side if you say shadow now here is a default value of this property is here, default values of this property is 0, 0.0 to minus 3.0 so we will set it 0 0 and here vw container dot layer dot shadow opacity is equals to 0.6 because we want our shadow to be a little bit transparent shadow opacity cover that whether you want your shadow to be a transparent or not and here vw container dot layer dot shadow with it is the radius of the shadow that to which extent your shadow should be seen so we can give it 10.0 and one more thing that most commonly used is we will give uh, that shadow path the shape of the layer shadow enemy table and here we will give you i visor path and fact is vw container dot bounds it is of cg path this is given because most of the article says that this determines ui visor path allow shadow path allows is to not calculate transparencies for your shadow and here vw container dot layer dot should rasterize a bullet data by the layer is entered as a bitmap before compositing here it says true because we want our app to maintain uh, app view layers to maintain cache and it's not to be redrawn again and again so now if we run our app again you will see the shadow to our view is added on all the sites here you can see the shadow is added 
Now for one more thing we can do, we can make it a corner radius round layer dot corners radius is equals to 10.0 and now it will see, looks nice and here you can see uh, the shadow is appearing and it's looking that looks like that it is a little above from the view a 3d effect is given to this and if I give it a green color so here it looks a little nicer and if I increase the shadow to a 15 you will see a little more shadow and here you can see our shadow is enlightened that it's something glowing behind the UI view so here in this tutorial we learn how to add shadow to UI view and if you like this video then please do share and like this video and if you have any kind of question then please feel free to comment in the below comment section and please do subscribe to our channel so that you can get updated for our next future video release and thanks for watching bye bye